So, today we will show how to groom the legs on a miniature schnauzer. First of all, you have to bath your dog in a good shampoo and in good conditioner because you cannot simply groom unwashed legs. Then you use the hair dryer, you can use a little foam in it and prepare it for the scissoring like that. You should clean under the feet, so this we can do. Carefully between the toes, a little high up. So then be careful with this. Better take one cut extra than to cut into the toes. Then to make a nice feet, you use the scissors this way. Stop, stop. And always like under a degree, I would say 45 degrees out. standing the paw is already clean and then you can cut it a little around so you can have a nice paw the toes actually the nails should be visible the same with the rear you should clean the paw and then uh -uh, don't kick it's tickling him. And then under the same angulation, like this. And then when he stands, just correct so you can see the toes and the bow under. Yeah, there we go. So we have it prepared for the scissoring. So for the scissoring itself, you need a straight scissors. This is our new scissors, which will soon come in the in the sale. You need a firm scissors of good quality. So you brush or comb your the leg on the dog. scissors and you cut the way down like this mm -mm. and here the same way Brush a little. So then, make the dog. If he has tendency to lift his leg, keep him on the shoulders up like this. So he is not stepping around. You need. from this side if we can switch yes and then we cut here in the inside part you need to adjust to the volume of the dog how much 
the hair you will leave on the legs. Because some dogs need more if they are too leggy and a little high on legs. If they are too low legged, you know, you need to help them in other way. You always have to think that the dog has to be in full balance. Now we will rebrush it a little. And straight down like this. Then they are delicious, these scissors. Wow. It's just the last details. And then when the elbow is a little sticking out, then I will take our new delicious thinners. Of our own production and then I'm thinning a little on the elbow because we need the elbow to go in. So I often use that for the last touch with the thinners. To get the elbow more in. straightening there's a little curls here it should have been done more straight the so you think it looks okay and then I cannot see because there is my camera man This is smart sink on our shark because it's, it can fluff a little when you cut. So. I think this is nicely done like what is our cameraman saying? because it's our control. Now we were speaking about how to make the adjustment from the rear. Now we have a little... You know, they shouldn't be matted. If there is mat, it should be brushed out. But he hates it, so I cannot really... He will be totally out of mind if I'm pulling a little mat from there. So now I will try to turn the creature. Stay. Stay. Butler, stay. And for the underline, we can use also our new scissors, which I think we will call Raven. They are 8 inches long, super underline scissors. And they just cut with Now we spoke about the rear from side. I would start to break it a little here and up. So. And then of course we want the angulation. 
So if we can switch, because I like to cut from this side. And also use the pump. Stay. And stay. Good boy. And then we go. We cut down again. And I'm always on pepper and salt and black and silver. I'm using the color to help me a little. So I'm cutting like this. First this part. And then this is a little tricky because he is, I choose him because he is more the middle type. He doesn't have that much coat like the real fluffy dogs. So he will be good to learn. We need to find the towel first. Uh, 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 stable. Because I'm cutting overhand. So it's not so easy. I think we have to switch again. This is a little difficult part, and then, especially the dog is stepping all the time. Stop that! So. Then we made this. And then we follow after the color. This is too sharp. It is. We take thinners for. You can as well strip it, of course, because we need the angulation to go down here. The hux should be low, and so we need to to adjust the, the angulation here, stable. Then we take this, and this dropped, so we need all this up, because it will keep the, the hair. There. Uh -uh. And of course, depends how much angulation the dog has. If you want more, you always work with this part to help it. Then we should do the inside part. Stay boy. Nay, stay. Possible filter free dog. If you find a mat, comb it out carefully because if you cut the mat out, it will never be so pretty. The rear should actually be following normally I do it from this angle Stay. 
I always keep on the balls on the boys because suddenly you are there. So. Now you can go from the side. You see. But of course you can use hours to cut the legs. And then you come to the show and find out that you have to regroom it totally because this went wrong and this went wrong. Every time they move, they change a little the... If you are totally unsure of this part, take the thinners and you can adjust a little bit the thinners because it gives the smooth touch. See, he still has some of the sharpie coat here. So here we have the final result, the head, this part from the eyeball. This is clippered. Up to the eye corner. This is blended with stripping and Clipping. Here you can see how the coat had been cleaned on the on the neck. Here is the leg and the rear leg. The eyebrows. The head from the other side. You can see this here, I'm stripping and this is clipped. This is blended. Here are the bows cleaned up and, and the back feet. Voila. Sorry.